Hi, I'm Neetu, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechatronics, Nehru College of Engineering and Research Center, Pampati. Today, we are going to discuss about boundary segment. Okay, so boundary segment is nothing but it is a type of boundary representation in which the boundary is decomposed into segment. Okay, the boundary is decomposed into segment. That is, it is used when the boundary has one or more curves, that is concavity, that is curves that carry shape information. So, boundary segmentation is the type of boundary representation in which uh, the boundary is decomposed into segments. This procedure, that is boundary segmentation is used to reduce the complexity of boundary and simplify the description process because sometimes the boundary or the in uh, special images the boundary carries lot of images if you just eliminate the boundary in the sense it will lose the actual information so so if you are uh, segmenting it in a proper way in the sense we got a clear information about the image so boundary segmentation is a type of boundary representation in which the entire boundary is decomposed into segments. Okay, and this one of the important concepts came is convex hull. It's nothing but, let us consider a set of A elements. To be convex, it's a straight line joining. It's a straight line joining. These two points in A, a lies entirely within the A. As in the figure A shows this, and the convex L of the arbitrary set S is the smallest convex set containing the S. Okay, and convex deficiency is nothing but the difference between the H and S. Okay. And the convex L hull of a region enclosed by the boundary is used as a tool for efficient decomposition of the boundary. Okay, convex hull, hull, sorry, hull is for that a set A is said to be convex if the straight line joining between any two points in the A lies in, inside the A. Okay, consider the boundary of an element S. Okay, let us go for the procedure for doing this. Let consider the boundary of an object S as shown in figure. First, the con convex deficiency of a set, that is object S is defined, which is the shaded region in the figure. Okay, which is the shaded region in the figure. Okay, so procedure Consider the boundary of an image S. Consider the boundary of an image S. First, the convex deficiency of a set, that is object S is defined, which is the shaded region. Okay. Next, the contour, that is outline of S, is followed and the points at which there is a transition into or out of the convex deficiency are marked. Here it is marked. Okay, that is contour, that is outline of S is marked in such a way that there is a transition in and out of the convex deficiency are marked. Okay, these points are the partitioning points that give the segmented boundary. Okay, the these points are the partitioning points that gives the segmented boundary. Okay, in figure C shows the segmented boundary. Okay, so what, is, what we are discussing here, boundary segment. So it is the type of boundary representation in which boundary is decomposed into segment. Okay. Because in the boundary, there are one or more concavities. So, this concavities carry some useful information. So, a boundary is decomposed into segments. Procedure to be followed for this is, consider the boundary of an object S. 
consider the boundary of an object S, first the convex deficiency of the set that is object S is defined, which is which is the shaded region, which is the shaded region. Next, the contour that is outline of S is followed and the points at which there is a transition in or out of the concave deficiencies are marked. After that, these points are partitioning. These points are the partitioning points that are the segmented boundary. Okay. The main advantage of segmenting a boundary using convex deficiency is that it is independent of the size and orientation of that given region. Whatever the size is here in the image, we can do the boundary segmentation. So, and also the convex hull and its deficiency. Okay, convex hull and its, and its deficiency can also be used for describing a region at its boundary can also be used for describing a region at its boundary. The main drawback of using boundary segmentation is that digitization, noise and variation in the segmentation may lead to the irregular boundaries of the region. Okay, that means if some the noise and variations are occurs in the segmentation which leads to the irregularities in boundary. So, this results in an inefficient decomposition process. Okay, in order to overcome this irregularities or this irregularities can be removed by smoothing before partitioning. Okay, before partitioning we have to do smoothing. The smoothing techniques which we explained in the first module. Okay, so this is about the image boundary segmentation. Thank you.